Our next honoree is Dr. Steve Suskin and Suskin Dental. Woo! Sorry, wrong picture. So I was getting ready for the dinner. Sorry. <laughs> Suskin Dental Chapstick. So I was getting ready for the dinner. I saw a quote that says, work for a cause, not for applause. And I think that's a volunteer mantra for Steve Suskin. As community member, Steve has supported the East Brunswick Education Foundation. And then at one point, I actually asked him to join. And he did just because I asked him to. It was that simple. That's the kind of volunteer he is. His style at all of our meetings is to listen. And every once in a while, he'll offer his opinion when he sees a need. And one night, we were talking about social media and how to get engaged in social media. And he just kind of said that he's going to have one of the folks in his office set up a Facebook group for us. And that simply, it was done. No fanfare, no big discussion. I'm doing it. And it was done. Facebook changed from groups to pages, and so did we. We didn't know about it. Steve just said, we changed. It's all taken care of. That's the way he does things. Under the radar and just makes it happen. So we were having a planning meeting for this dinner a few years ago. And Steve said, would it be okay if I organized some restaurants, maybe for a prize. And next thing you know, the Dine Around Town was born. First year was a basket, then it grew and grew and became two. Together they thought it would be a great project for the East Brunswick Education Foundation Student Association. Steve mentored and inspired a small group who raised a record amount of money in donations that year. And the folks he worked with wound up becoming future leaders. And in the process, Steve joined Marilyn Ryan and me as advisors to the Student Association. Again, with no fanfare or fireworks, he just slipped in and it was a regular meeting and he was actively engaged in mentoring the leadership. Over the past few years, Steve's name came up as we nominated Partner in Excellence honorees. And every time he was in the room, he asked to be taken out of consideration. It just wasn't the right thing for him to do. Last year, he wasn't there. <laughs> but I have to tell you, it was one of the hardest negotiations I ever had to do with both Steve and his wife, Hillary, because they come together to get Steve here tonight. But it was well worth the effort and the implant. <laughs> Steve, I see the Sussing clan here tonight. Your mom, your brother, your sister-in-law, your nephew. Of course, Hillary and Bradley and Julia. I thought Danielle might be here by Skype from Spain, but I guess it's kind of late over there. Sorry your dad couldn't make it here tonight to join us, but he will be quite proud of everything he's done for the community. So please welcome, with a really loud fanfare of applause, a man I'm proud to call my dentist and my friend, Dr. Steve Suskin. Of Suskin. <laughs> understood what I was saying. <laughs> but tonight will be much different as I stand before you speaking on behalf of the East Brunswick Education Foundation and accepting this great honor. When I was chosen as an honoree for the Partners in Excellence Award this year, I felt not only honored but extremely humbled. President Jack Levitt cornered me, as he told you, and was so excited to tell me. But for some strange reason, my initial reaction, the initial thought that came to my mind was, what are some of the greatest fears that people have in life? I too thought that was a strange initial reaction, but here is why. Two of people's greatest fears 
are going to the dentist <laughs> and speaking in public. <laughs> so what does a dentist do when he has to speak in public? <laughs> well, with that being said, I would like to congratulate my fellow honorees on their dedication to the East Brunswick Education Foundation, the public school system, and the future of our children. I became an active member of the East Brunswick Education Foundation about seven years ago, but I was not sure what I would be able to offer the organization. I agreed with its philosophy and soon began spreading the word of its cause. It did not take me long to find my passion within the organization once the EBEF ultimately decided to launch its student association in 2011. This is where I really became more involved by helping to initiate and coordinate its bylaws of this, private, of this pilot group. But you already knew that because Jack must have read my speech. <laughs> Since 2011, I have continued to interview the students for its executive board alongside President Jack Levitt and faculty liaison Marilyn Ryan. Several years ago, we started a joint venture with the Dine Around Town Raffle that you all hopefully bought raffle tickets for this evening. We solicited local restaurants to donate gift cards. During its inaugural year, I was pleased with my collection of $200 in donations. As the student association became more involved and the team unit concept took effect, the restaurant donations grew to over $1,600. And with that, I take great pride in the success of the Student Association. The EBEF is an amazing organization since it allows me the opportunity to give back to the community and the school system that has been good to me and my family. I strongly agree that children who are encouraged to help others will become adults who help others. Children who are encouraged to appreciate the gift of a formal education will become adults who do the same for their children. These are philosophies that my parents taught me as a youth, and by being part of the East Brunswick Education Foundation, I believe it is my mission to instill this, these character-building traits to my own children and the other youth of the community. <coughs> the main focus of the EBEF is to be able to provide greater resources for the teachers and the students in our school system. The funds that are raised play a vital role in educating our youth. They need the additional funds that are raised to provide our students with the knowledge that they will need in their future lives. Our goal is to see that every day holds an opportunity for our youth, whether that opportunity is inside or outside of the classroom. 20 years ago, my wife Hillary, who was an elementary school teacher in New York City at the time, and I decided to relocate to East Brunswick. We spent extra time with our searches to find a community that has an amazing school system in which to raise our growing family. All three of our children went through the East Brunswick public school system since the first grade, and we found the schools to be just as exceptional as we anticipated when we first moved here. One final note, I would like to thank my parents for teaching me all about the gift of giving, and that has allowed me to contribute to this organization. I also want to thank my wife and our children for allowing me the time and the support to pursue my passion for the education of our community. Thank you to my friends and family and everyone here this evening for supporting the East Brunswick Education Foundation. I hope that the evening was enlightening and enjoyable to you all. Thank you again. Before we move on, there are some other people I'd like to introduce you to. So you've talked a whole lot about the East Brunswick Education Foundation, yet you haven't met them yet. You met me and you met our chairman, but I'd like the rest of the members of our Board of Trustees to stand up 